Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be looking at MMX Racing. So starting off with the menus, the first thing that you're going to come to is your truck section and in here it's going to have the trucks that you've actually collected while playing the actual game itself. Now as you can see I haven't really been playing the game all that long so I've only got one from C class and also from B class and the trucks are quite expensive and can sometimes take a while to get hold of but once you do you can then move on to the higher ranking races. In terms of those classes, you've got C, B, A, R, and also WWE, and within there you've got a bunch of different vehicles to choose from. Now, like I say, it can sometimes take a while to get hold of these cars, but once you do, it allows you to then progress a little bit further through the actual main progression of the story. Now, you've also got some really great customization options as well, where you can change things like the paint, vinyls, accessories, rims, just kind of get your own personal look and feel to whichever vehicle it is that you're going to be using. If however you don't want to buy a new car, you can upgrade the one that you're currently using with things like the supercharger, the engine, the chassis, the transmission, the tyres, etc. to get the best out of your vehicle. Now some of these purchases you do have to wait for them to be delivered, but they usually take around 10-15 to 15 minutes which isn't really too bad considering the game is completely free. Now in terms of the different racing classes, there are 6 in total, you've got C, B, A, R, WWE and also the multiplayer mode as well and you can see here that within each mode you've got some races down the left hand side which help you progress to then complete the main races on the right hand side to climb the leaderboard. But what about the actual gameplay and the actual racing itself? Well it's really quite good. Now don't get me wrong it is quite a simple game there is only one button that you need to really take notice of and it's really all about the timing of the jumps and landings that really help you progress to get past your opponent. Now obviously the graphics as you can see do look extremely nice now keep in mind this is running on my Note 3 which isn't the newest device but in terms of frame rate and also the graphics performance I've had no issues whatsoever and it looks awesome with a really good look and feel with some really nice blur in the background and things to really make the foreground pop. Now the controls couldn't be any simpler, there's only one button. Every race starts with you revving your engine and having to keep it within the green. Now this is easy or hard depending on the performance of the actual vehicle. And then when you get towards the edge of a jump, you then just need to release the accelerator. And then as you start going towards the ground, you then just need to put your finger back on the accelerator. It is that simple. Now this game is really all about timing, as if you do have the incorrect timing or you do get it slightly wrong, you're going to have a bad takeoff or a bad landing, which is then going to affect your speed, which then is going to affect your overall performance. Now it is quite simple in terms of the actual gameplay itself but it is also really enjoyable as you can just pick up and play and you don't really need to invest too much time. Plus if you've got a slightly smaller device or one that doesn't really weigh too much you can actually play it with one hand which is quite rare these days for certain games on mobile as it does allow you to actually just you know play the game really easily and not really have to worry about being too invested with lots of controls and buttons to remember and things and it's good for it. The gameplay itself is really fun to play and getting the perfect jump in a really good vehicle is kind of what you're aiming for. So as you guys can see, I really enjoy this game, and the best part about it is it's actually completely free of charge, you don't need to pay for anything. Now I'm going to have links in the description down below, so if you guys want to download and play it for yourselves then you can do, and if there's anything that you enjoy about the game then be sure to leave it in the comments section down below. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you've got any other applications or games that you want me to have a look at here, then again in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content, don't forget to subscribe, I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.